Now back to the Israel-Hamas war. This conflict is also being fought on the digital front. Since the war began, millions have turned to social media to comprehend it. And this has led to the growth of homegrown influencers in Gaza. They too are fighting the war. Their weapons of choice are Snapchat, TikTok and Instagram. These influencers are highlighting the plight of their people. They're bringing first-hand accounts to the world. But they also have some competition. Israelis, too, are posting videos on social platforms. They're sharing their side of the story. Some of them are also mocking Palestinian suffering. And now this war is impacting children in more ways than one. Many of them are attending protests virtually on platforms like Roblox. Our next report tells you more. Yesterday, we had to evacuate the whole building. I have to leave my room, my house, and my, my memories to go to a place that is no safer than my house. So we had to return back home because if I'm going to die, I'm going to die in my house. This was Salma Shurab, a 22-year-old dental student. She lives in Gaza. Earlier, her activity on social media was far from geopolitics. She often talked about dentistry, fashion and travel. But since October 7th, she has taken to social media for a completely different reason to inform her family and friends about her situation. I'm scared to death right now. I'm at the roof looking at the view. It's in Hayat Darash. They have started already. There's no shelters for us. The safest place to be is my home. I've witnessed so many aggressions on Gaza, but yet have I ever seen anything this aggressive. This time I'm doubting that I'll make it out alive. And to inform the world about the plight of Gazans. Did you know that a whole city is being wiped off the face of the earth right now and the world's doing nothing about it? But Shurab is hardly the only one. This video was posted by Sara Al Saka, a general surgeon. In her videos, she talked about hospitals being overloaded with patients. <laughs> the beginning of the Israel Hamas war has birthed a league of homegrown influencers. They are sharing first hand experiences with the world. But remember, even if it's on the digital front, this is war. So Israelis too have taken to social media to share their side of the story. But some Israelis are also posting videos mocking Palestinian suffering. In this video, an Israeli woman makes fun of how Gazans are losing electricity, water and internet. Here, another is sharing a makeup tutorial on how to be Palestinian, with ketchup qualifying as fake blood. If this wasn't bad enough, in many videos, parents are even involving their children. They are dressing up kids to make fun of Palestinian children who are struggling to survive. In the online realm, hateful messages can spread like wildfire and they may land in front of unsuspecting viewers like children. In the wake of this war, teens are attending pro-Palestinian protests. Except it's not in real life. It's virtually on Roblox, an online gaming platform where the users can create their own games. These protests have been visited close to 300,000 times. Participants have joined from all across the world, West Asia, Europe, the US and especially Malaysia. That's where most of the participants came from. Many of them are not even teenagers. About 60% of Roblox users are 16 years old or younger. 45% are 12 years old or younger. In Malaysia, the law prohibits anyone below the age of 15 from taking part in protests. But guess what? These young protesters have found a loophole. The law doesn't apply to a virtual game. Now, it may be a game, but it's no child's play. With online content, viewers may not even realize when they're engaging with anti-Palestinian, anti-Muslim or anti-Semitic content. When the news is fake or hurtful. And this can have real-life repercussions. This is the reality of a modern war. And with social media, it's often a losing battle.